Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building. He is home. He is here. Crime Life cast in the building. Welcome to the show, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome thank home. You. Looking, I appreciate it, gang. Good shit on that freestyle today. Yeah, hell yeah. What was the Drake and Josh line? Uh, uh, I said, I keep it Drake like I'm Josh. Put him mm. on TV and you know the channel is Fox. Hard. Yeah. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling all right, man. I'm just chilling. Slowly adjusting, you know what I'm saying, one day at a time, slowly but surely, but, you know what I'm saying, just trying to stay active, all the way activated, trying to keep myself busy, get a lot of work done, you know what I'm saying, fucking just a lot of progressive shit, getting shit done, working, shit like that, you feel me? How long you been home now when we're recording this? Um, Joey? What's today's date? Today is the 13th. 12 days. 12 days? Damn, we set this up quick. Yeah. 12 days, less than two weeks. Yeah, hell yeah. Came home the 31st. Wow. Yeah. What'd you, what was the first thing you did? I asked this to everybody who, Bobby, busy, we, we all did this. What was the first thing you did when you came home? Um. Damn, I don't even remember. I think, I think, I, well, we went to the hotel. There was like a hotel nearby. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was at the hotel and shit, so I went over there, I changed my clothes, you know what I'm saying? Fucking threw my chain on. Um, that was really about it. Threw my chain on, threw my clothes on, threw my other clothes out, grabbed my money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think started, I saw that picture. Yeah, started fucking around with that shit. You know what I'm saying? It felt good to touch real money again, you know what I'm saying? Been doing cash apps for so fucking long, it felt good to have actual money in my hands. So yeah, did that, and then fucking, you know the rest, you know what I'm saying? All this shit changed since I, since I was last home, everything, like, with the bud shit and all that, you feel me? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? You already know how that went, like, niggas went crazy with that shit, you feel mm -hmm. me? Pop my cherry on the whole legal weed shit, that shit was crazy. Where that shit was fucking... Weird as fuck. Being able to just walk around the street. Yeah, like just like like I'm like, yo, y'all y'all niggas just lighting that shit right here. Like they're like, yeah, what the fuck, bro? Like, I bet. In the V right there in the parking lot outside the hotel, just lighting shit, doors open, car park, drive outside the car, like, I right, this is what we doing, like five minutes out. Like, I right, bet, like, fuck it, this is the wave now. I like how you were like concerned though. You were like, at first, you were like, wait a second. Yeah, nah, I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all niggas trying to lie to me? Like, what the fuck is y'all <laughs> doing? Word. You're like, how y'all just picked me up from jail? And then now, y'all got me, because obviously your thought process is that it's not legal still. Yeah. And like, y'all and like, got me smoking weed with the windows down, all this shit like that. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all just smoking right here in the public? Like, yeah, bro, that's yeah, shit. Uh, I'm like, ah, that's lit. Like, I had to get used to that. That was definitely one thing I had to get used to. Or, what are some other things these past two weeks that you're like, oh shit, I gotta get used to this now? Um, damn, like that shit is something to get used to. Um, definitely, like, um, definitely, like everybody being on like their phones and shit like that, and like all the technology shit and like everything is like. Instead of people being involved in the moment of what they got going on, it's like everything that they doing is surrounded uh, like with the like making it a an extravagant thing to post about or something like that so it's like you'll be in the moment trying to enjoy you know yourself or enjoy you know being in the company of other people and then it's like you know you got people like trying to record shit and take pictures of shit and like you know what i'm saying it's like instead of just being in the moment everything has to be like some like broadcasted situation and that's something I had to get used to because I'm I'm so used to being, you know, in the moment, like around people and genuine energy. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? We don't even have the capability of doing anything like that, pulling out a phone or doing anything, taking a picture, making a video, like a TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. So it's like, it's just straight like, you know, you're in the moment. You f it's, it's just the vibe is it's different when it's like you're trying to, feel the vibe and then somebody's like, you know, shining a fucking camera in your face, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Shit like that is weird to me. Or You had to deal with that coming back too. Yeah, I don't really like that shit. I haven't thought about I haven't really even thought about shit like that. Like, you know, when like 
going out, being at shows, being at clubs, shit like that. Everybody's just on their phone. It's funny because I actually, I watched this happen in live time, like I think this past weekend. I was at a club and there were some girls, like they were there and like they were all smiling, taking a picture. And then the second that the, the camera flashed, like they all, their faces switched from like happy to just like, yeah. like kind of like dead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, I, I'm sure I see that pretty often, but I was just like in this very like self real. I was in like this realization moment. Like I was hyper focused on that. I'm like, damn, these girls all really just looked really happy standing next to each other. And then the second that the picture was taken, everybody got a stank ass face on. Yeah. It fucks like, the vibe up, bro. It's, it switches up like it, it cuts into that like raw natural energy of like being in the moment. And then it's like now it's like a whole different, it's like now it's like a, orchestrated thing you know mm. what i'm saying like oh smile for the camera or say this or whatever and it's like i wasn't saying that i wasn't just smiling so why the fuck am i gonna do that because you pulled out a camera you know what i'm saying like i don't like shit like that like i'm not a fucking actor so i don't it's like i don't like when people you know what i'm saying like especially coming home and shit and it's like you know people are trying to embrace me in the way that they know how to embrace me so i'm trying to you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to accept that but then it's like, you know, people recording and shit and taking pictures and, oh, say this or say that or whatever the case is or, you know, take it to do this and that. I'm just like, I just, I don't even, I just, I'm just chilling. Like, I don't even give a fuck about none of that shit. Like, I'm just happy to be home. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that really matters to me. Being home. Like, all that other shit is irrelevant. Word. Word. Facts. That's how true it is. <laughs> nah, I, can, I, can, I, I get that, bro. Especially, yeah. like, you coming home and, like, you know, like you mentioned, seeing everybody, but then I'm sure everybody wants to, like, once you ran in there, everybody, everybody had their phones out, shit like that. Like, yo, yeah. castle. Oh, this nah, it's not even just, like, not even just the first day. It was, like, just, it's just in, in, in situations where it's, like, you're fucking up the moment. You know what I'm saying? Because you're fucking up like, my vibe. <laughs> yeah, like, it was a moment, and then it's just, like, you ruined the moment because, like, it's not a moment anymore because, you know what I'm saying, you involved, like, a third party. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was us. We were, you know what I'm saying? And now it's, yeah. like, now it's, like, a public thing. Or now it's, like, you know, now I'm thinking about the fact that I'm being recorded and I might act differently or do something differently because, you know what I'm saying, I'm not feeling natural because it's an unnatural presence. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I don't know. That shit just irks me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like being in the moment, enjoying myself. Even if you're, like, with me, if you're around me, like... Like, like, it don't matter who it is. Like, I don't really like when people are around me and they be on their phones too much because that shit makes me uncomfortable because, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it's different if you by yourself and you're on your phone and you're doing shit, whatever, you don't got nothing to do. But if you're in the presence of other people, but at the same time, instead of being in their presence, you being on your phone and doing other shit, then it's like, it just, it just makes me uncomfortable, you know mm. what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'm here, so it's like, what are we doing? You feel me? Like... What are you doing on the phone? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I kind of be paranoid with shit like that. Unless you really like my dog, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I mean? I already know it's all love. I'll just be tight at the fact that you on some super, like, weird shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, you on the phone and shit. We all chilling and you just on some, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all chopping it up and you in the cut like this and shit. Probably, like, t texting a bitch or some shit. You feel me? Like, whatever the case is. Like, shit like that. Or... It's a very long explanation of something that you have to deal with when you came home. But I think it's a good explanation at the same time. Yeah, it's a lot of shit that I've been having to deal with since I've been home. But I've just been enjoying the fact that there's a lot of shit that I get to do now that right. I haven't been able to do before. You feel me? So I've just been trying to enjoy that shit. What were you, like, thinking about, like, I guess, like, the whole time when you were inside? Were you also, like, thinking about music? Or were you thinking about, you know, coming back and doing music? Were you not worried about shit like that? Like, what was kind of going through your head that whole time? I was definitely thinking about it, like, music and shit like that. Like, I was definitely still, you know, holding on to the fact that when I come home, you know, I have the blessing of coming home to do music. You feel me? Mm. Like, I always kept that in the back of my mind, and that held me back from, you know what I'm saying, like... I did a lot of shit, but it also held me back from doing more shit or doing shit, you know what I'm saying, that could have possibly put me in a worse predicament than I already was in, you feel me? So it was it was always in the back of my mind, like, I'm going to go home and I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to pick up, if not where I left off, I'm going to start fresh and I'm going to get back into this shit because... I fake fucked my life up, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but I, I definitely, I definitely, like, feel that because, like, you know, it's been interesting speaking to, like, Bobby, you... 
busy lately because it's just like I'm getting a real kind of like everybody has like a different thing that of like what they were thinking about while they were inside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people care more about music than the other. Some people worried about being forgotten in the music stuff versus the latter. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody has like a everybody who's come here has had like a different kind of like outlook on it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, like like I said, I was thinking about the music shit. That was the only thing that was really keeping me focused on a certain level of like not trying to fuck my life up any further, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because if it's not if it wasn't for the music shit, like if I'm not doing music, then it's like I don't really have anything else going for me. So it's like if I'm not doing music, then I'm just doing the same shit that, you know what I'm saying, eventually is going to end me back up in prison like it did the first time, you feel me? Because yeah. of the type of lifestyle that I was living. So it's like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, yo, I got to really go hard with this shit. Right. Feel me? Did, were you writing in there too? Like, did you have like a notebook? You know what I'm saying? Nah. Nah, not really. Like, niggas, like, niggas used to always like fake, like, 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 wild me up, try to cut my ass and shit and be like, yo, why you don't be writing, bro? Ain't you a rapper? Like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And, and I wasn't, I wasn't on that type of time. Like for one, when I go to the stool, I usually just like punch in and shit like that. You feel me? Like I just listen to the beat and then I'll just say some shit and just start punching in. Like I don't really write shit down. I just kind of freestyle shit. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, like, I just, I don't know. Like I don't really be on that, like rapping shit. I don't know how to explain it. Like I, I, I rap like when I'm, when I'm in the studio, you feel me? But like, I'm not just like running around like trying to fucking rap and shit. So I wasn't in jail rapping and shit like that. Like a couple of the bros, it's a lot of niggas that's locked up and shit that's dumb nice, like that's mad talented, you heard? And like, they'll fuck around and pull up on you and fucking rap a whole fucking mixtape to you, sing all types of shit, fire shit. But it's like, that's not me. Like I was on a whole different type of time when I was locked up, like I was more on like, survival shit, you know what I'm saying? And I was more on like, I was on time and so I wasn't really worried about rapping. When I was in there, I was more thinking when I leave here, I'm gonna get back into it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and you dropped the first day out freestyle too. Yeah, hell yeah, I recorded that the, f the first day I came home, that's a fact. Straight from, straight from when they picked me up, I went to the studio and I recorded that shit. Mm. Yeah, hell yeah. And you did have some music drop while you was in there too, right? Yeah, I had a couple. I had a couple little shit. Yeah, like little shit here couple and there. Here. Yeah, a couple like singles and a little EP and shit. You feel me? Like nothing too crazy. Yeah, ABG was telling me about it when he was here early in the in the winter. Yeah, yeah. He was the one giving me updates. Him and Joey. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Have you and ABG? You you seen ABG since you came back or not? Nah, not yet. Nah, not at all. Nah. Maybe soon. Maybe yeah. 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 What else? What type of so? You, since you've been back for two weeks, right? Um, and you're working on music right now, right? Yeah. Um, how much music have you? Do you think you recorded already? Um, I recorded like, I like not gonna lie, only like I only recorded six or seven songs mm. since I've been home. Okay. Have you been like kind of tapped in with how like the New York music landscape has changed, like with from like with the new type of drill music, all that stuff like that? Yeah, well, to you a certain to extent, like when I was locked up and shit, you know what I'm saying? We be catching wind and shit, you feel me? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Especially like for, for, for the bros that's like, you know what I'm saying? Living a certain type of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Coming yeah. from where we from and shit, you feel me? Like, Jack and shit. Niggas be in tune with what's going on in the town, you know what I'm saying? Tapping in and talking to niggas and shit, you feel me? So, like I was, I was aware of like a lot of the shit that was coming out and like a lot of shit that's going on behind... You know what I'm saying? The music and shit and the culture and shit, you feel me? Um, but it really just to me, it just sounds like just just drill music. It's just now it's more people that are getting into it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and more people are 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 are, are like linking up or, you know what I'm saying, opposing each other, you know what I'm saying? So now it's more to talk about and who's with who and who's with this and that and shit yeah. like that. Collaborations and you know what I'm saying, rivalries and shit like that. So that's you know what I'm saying? But it's all really the same ball game. It's just all, you know, all the young niggas, they be making drill music. That's that's all they know how to do. They just be making drill music. Right. When, um, yeah, with that, because, like, I, because, you know, I think I asked Bobby the same thing, question. It's like, yeah, you caught wind of it, but it's like sometimes you don't, you hear some of it, you hear about certain people. I know that there are certain, like, some, I don't know if for you, you had, like, the tablet. 
yeah. tapping every now and then. Type yeah, oh yeah, we had the JPay tablet. The JPay tablet. Yeah. Were you listening? Were you listening to anything? Well, yeah, hell yeah, I was listening to mad shit, but I'd be into different shit though. Like, like I'd be listening to like not even New York shit like that. But honestly, on some New York shit, like I'd be heavy on like Sleepy Chef G. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like a boogie. Pop Smoke, R.I.P. before he died, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was locked up when he blew up, he passed away, and everything, you know what I'm saying? So I never even was able to, like, be in the presence of that, you know what I'm of saying? that energy, yeah. Yeah, or, like, even get to tap in with bro or none of that shit, so, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much, like, New York shit, like, shit like that, Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be fucking with, like, Ross Swish. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, a couple different niggas like that. But I be fucking with a a, a wide range of shit, like a, a broad category of shit. You feel me? Like, like mad, like Memphis shit. You feel me? I fuck with, like, Moneybag Heavy. I fuck with yeah. STG Heavy. I fuck with 42 Doug Heavy, Lil Baby Dirk. Like, all them niggas, I fuck with them niggas heavy. You feel me? Like, they be on some money shit. I be on some money shit. We'll be back to getting money now. Yeah, hell yeah. So what do you? So we got a couple singles out now. Um, freestyle out now. First day out freestyle. Also, that's on your shit. That's out now. Yeah, hell yeah. The video out now. First day out freestyle video on YouTube right now. That's a fact. What else you got coming out that the people should know about now that we back home? Um, I shot singers. another. I shot another video. Matter of fact, um, I ain't gonna say too much, but I shot a video for another song that's gonna be released in probably like the next week. Okay, so it might be out by the time people see this, yeah. Yeah, probably like yeah. If if not out by the time people see this, it'll be out right after that. Word. Yeah, so I'm gonna be releasing the video and the song is gonna be on all um platforms and shit. You got a documentary that we're working on too, right? Yeah, hell yeah. That's Some, what, that's something like right that. Here. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, niggas came up with this idea like for when I come home and shit, just to fake follow the storyline of. Me coming home and, you know what I'm saying, reintegrating back into, like, the music shit and society and coming home from jail and shit and, like, both sides of it, you know what I'm saying? Like, the raw shit, the real shit, mm -hmm. and then, like, the glamour shit, like, the cool shit, the fire shit, the shit that comes out on the other end of it, you feel oh, me? Yeah. And kind of just showing, like, a, a real behind the scenes, behind the behind the curtain type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. Yeah. Because I think it's... um. It kind of reminds me of like the uh, so I, I watched like this this the guy from the UK Digga D he had like a similar doc where he when he was locked up and show him coming home and I think that it's important to show and tell this side of that story too because some people you know they see obviously you come home ah yes he's home yeah and then they see you do what you do after right but they don't see like the, the process the process right how you reacclimate to society and what's going on now, how it's different from when you went in, like the smoking in the car. I'm yeah. sure there's probably some clip. You probably you might have a clip of, of you talking about that out yeah. there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And I think that's that's good, not just for your fans, but I think that's good for like us as a people to see shit like that, yeah. to see how this type of stuff really affects people who go into prison for a couple of years and then right. come out and how, you know, how that time in there affected them and how it's affecting them now and how reacclimating to the world can be... You know, not just like I. Yeah, it's not. Back. It's not as simple as as it looks from the outside. Right. Basically, yeah, that's a fact. There's a lot that goes into that shit. Being on parole and and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like even though you're coming home, you still fake. Still have, you know what I'm saying? Like something hanging over your head. You feel me? So mm. it's still a you know a matter of getting shit done, appointment schedule, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like. Until you're really, really done with that shit. Right. Facts. You know what I mean? So that's the type of time I'm on right now. Just trying to make sure I get all that shit situated, everything taken care of. And you know what I'm saying? Just keep going up from here. You feel me? Word. I'm back. We back. I'm back, baby. Well, welcome back, bro. Um, It's great to see you in great spirits. Yeah, you know hell what I'm yeah. Saying? Me and Joey, we've been talking about, we've been, me and, I don't know if he told you, but me and him have been plotting on doing this shit like for a while. He's like, he's going to be back in a few months. I was like, second he's back. Yeah, hell yeah, he was mentioning that shit. Yeah, I want I was you like, to call me. You know, I I, I was like, yo, he was, he was like, yo, yeah, you got to do this on the radar shit. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is on the radar? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he like, yeah, like you got to do this shit, man. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's lit right now. Ah, ah, da da da. My eye bet, like, I'm like, yo, send me a video on JPay of that shit so I can see what that shit look like. What did you send him? So I could fake prepare my. 
He sent me a video, D thing, D thing freestyle. You heard, you know what I'm saying? So he was, he sent me that shit, and I was listening to that shit, looking at that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I got to see like the background and the shit on my tablet. I got to see all this shit, and I was like, oh, all right. So that in my mind, I was like, all right, like I'm gonna be doing that when I come home. Like so mm -hmm. now I'm picturing in my mind like how the shit might go, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that shit was pretty cool. Word, I was jacking it. I was like, oh yeah, that shit fire. Word, I was. Looking forward to doing it, you feel me? Oh, man. Well, you killed it today. Yeah. If it was yeah. any consolation. You went good crazy. Good looking, good looking. I appreciate that. I want to make it very clear. He did, like, he did like, one take, so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he did that shit straight through. I damn, he almost passed out. I know. He did almost pass out. Gangsta. <laughs> Gangsta. That shit was crazy. I had to calm my mouth. All type of shit was going on. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. Asthma. I was smoking before this. Gangsta. That shit was crazy. I feel like you reached a new level today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was different. I ain't even gonna hold you. And I don't be doing that rapidity rapping, rapping, like whole, like I'll be punching in and shit. You feel me? I'll be in the studio, I'll be punching in. That should be fire. You feel me? Like I'll be off the top punching in, like to just sit there and just one take. That shit almost died. That shit was crazy. But it was a five free. Yeah, so. hell yeah. You know, had to come through, hit you with some heat real quick, show niggas what type of time I'm on. You feel me? Fresh Word. off the come home. KOB takeover. You feel me? Like. KLB takeover. Just had to show them the energy you heard. Mm -hmm. Type shit. Well, congrats on, you know, on one coming back, man. And, and, and you know, we're happy to have you here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've been missed. Um, thank you for killing it today. Um, you know, you always got a home here. You know what I'm saying? If you ever need anything, have him call me. You know the vibes. <laughs> um, but before we get out of here, you know, we got we to gotta make sure that we plug in your social media so people know where they properly can follow you at now. Right. Uh, let them know where they can follow you at. Anything else you want to let your fans know? Now's the time to do it. This camera right here. Uh yeah, just uh follow me on Instagram at Crime Life Cast, Crime with a K, Cast with a C. Uh that's pretty much the same shit on all of my shits. Uh and um KLBshop.com for all the Crime Life merch, um videos, pictures, um, all that kind of shit right there on the website. And um that's really it. You know what I'm saying? Free naughty. Free Bebe G's, free the jungle, free all the urbans, you know the fucking vibes. We out here, 20,000, 120,000%. We all the way out here activated. Shit is fucking about to get crazy. We all the way sturdy. We in the spot. We making it hot. You know what I mean? We about to get active. We about to get crazy. You know the vibes. It's KOB. It's KOB. You heard him. Crime Life Cast on the radar. He's here. Go check out the freestyle. First day out freestyle on his page. Also out now. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. The man is home. He's here. Till next time on the radar, my brother. That's a fact. Boom. KOB. KOB.